Good morning, Kella Price here with Healthy Fit and today's workout is Athlete Strength. We have a great interval session for you. You don't need any equipment. I will be providing some demonstrations using a chair if you need that for balance or you're not getting down on the floor. We are getting down on the floor so I have some mats set up. If you'd like a mat, grab that, grab your water and let's get started. Option one, high knees. Option two, driving those knees up to the belly button. We want to get those knees up. Again, your choice. I'm going to give options for all fitness levels. Whether you're here or here, we want those knees up high, like we're driving up towards the belly button. Core, engage, nice and tall. Give me a smile. Switching to butt kicks now. Flexing the foot. Kicking towards the butt cheek. Nice athletic arms. Keeping those feet flexed, engaging the hamstrings, getting our body warm, waking up those muscles. Squat and lunge alternating. Feet are parallel. Sit back in that squat. Step back in a lunge. Use your chair if needed here. Now what I want you to focus on is your form. Chest up nice and tall. Feet parallel. They maintain parallel as you come into your lunge. If your foot is turning out to the side for me, I want you to take your feet wider and closer together. Nice form. Watching those knees Mindful that they stay in alignment with the toes. Curtsy crunch. Stepping back into our curtsy. Tap. Crunch. You can also float through. Using your chair as an option. This is your workout. Use the chair as needed. Get a good range of motion, pushing back into that glute for me. Exhale, targeting on the oblique. If you're feeling it all in your knee, I want you to shift your weight back. Feel it in that tush. Side lunge, reach. Using your chair as needed. In your side lunge, rotate, reach up. Alternating sides. Hand on the quad, the calf, or the floor. Get that good stretch. Spinal stretch. Feeling the inside leg pushing back again on the glute. Step it together. Plank to runner's lunge. If you're using your chair, you're planking from the chair, stepping forward into your runner's lunge. Otherwise, join me on the floor, on your knees or toes, chest open and wide, step forward, sink into that stretch. Other side, step, sink into it. Again, you can be on your knee here, and switching. The important thing is to focus on that stretch right here in the underside of the leg. Step it in. Big shoulder roll. One more. Get a sip of water. You should be warmed up. I forgot to put my watch on so I can't track my heart rate today. But if you're tracking it, I'd love to see you in your target heart rate zone now. Today's protocol is interval training. We've got a 30 second strength move. Sometimes it has um, a higher impact. Then we're going to go into a, we'll get a quick transition. And then our hit move, our high intensity interval training. This does not need to be a high impact move, but it needs to be high intensity. So I want you to get breathless 
by the end of those 30 seconds. 10 second recovery, transitioning to a core move. We're gonna do two sets of each group of exercises, each block. Let's do this. First movement, squat hops. Feet are parallel. Sit back in that squat, either tap or jump. Chest up nice and tall, really sitting back like you're aiming for that chair. If you want that chair as a cushion, aim for that chair as you hop, make target. Cross jacks, a little bit of coordination in this movement. Crossing our arms, alternating, and our feet, option one. Option two, let's get right in it. Now I want you to be breathless. Yes, I said breathless. By the end of this movement, keep going. I want you to work on that coordination. Get your heart rate up. 10 seconds left, come on. Push through, you got this. Rest, transitioning, push up, arm reach. If you're using the chair, I'm gonna turn it this way. Push up, opposite arm, leg reach. Other options are on the floor. On your knees or toes, find your balance, nice long spine, extend. Taking your time. Good range of motion on your push-ups. Balance. Engaging that core. All right. That was our third move. Back to the top. Catch your breath. Again, use your chair if needed. Set two. Squat hops. Either tapping or jumping. Breathe through it. Chest up nice and tall. Can you get a little bit lower for me? Whether you're here or jumping, I want you to stay low. But your chest is up tall. Reading your shirt in the mirror. Give yourself a big smile. All right, cross jacks. Remember those options. Crossing here or jumping. Alternating arm and leg. You got this. Find your cadence. Now this might be a little bit complicated. We're exercising our brain. Hopefully it's easier the second set. Yes? Play with that reach. Remember, whether you're on the chair, your knees, or your toes, nice long spine. Extend and balance. Take your time on the balance. Pressing through the palms. Shoulders are stacked. Extend. Balance, squeezing everything, making a long line from your foot to your outside hand. Come on, one more rest. New set of exercises. Three gate hops, lunge. Option one is your gate hop like this. Option two, it's a hop. And then you're gonna step back into a lunge. My chair's in the way. I'm gonna step back or step forward for this one. Hop, knee up, hop. Step back, lunge. So when you do your lunge, just like we did in your warm up, we want our knees straight down. Yeah? High, high jump. Yes, like you're jumping. Laterally over gate. New move, Heisman crunch. So we're gonna shuffle 
Three, two, one. Crunch like we did in the warm up. Three, two, one. Balance. Do this in front of your chair if you need your chair for balance. And you can hold on to the chair. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Come on. You got this. Three, two, one. Get a little bit faster. Last one. Side plank, leg curl, and press. From the chair or on the floor on your forearm, lift your leg, flexing the foot. We're gonna retract the leg, curl, and then push with the heel. We're driving with the heel, flex foot the entire time to really engage the hamstring. If you're on the floor, same movement. Flex the foot, drive it up, curl, and then push through the heel, curl. Notice my elbow is stacked under my shoulder. Good alignment, keeping the hip lifted, rest. Set two, we'll get the other side, don't worry. From the top, gate hops. Again, step or jump, just like we did in our high knees. Knee is coming up to our belly button. Lunging back. Come on, you got it. Depending on how much space you have, you might be able to hop nice and big. Or you might have to hop more in place. Like so. Your choice. Use your space and make sure there's nothing in the way. Heisman Crunch. Using your chair as needed. Three, two, one, crunch. Three, two, one, crunch. You got it. It's a shuffle. One, two, three, crunch. Crunching into the obliques. Crunch. Last one. Side plank on the side that you haven't done. If you're on the floor, you're on your forearm. Stacked elbow under your shoulder. Hip is lifted. Hand on your hip. Flex the foot. Drive it up. Kick forward. Down. Press. Now, one of the things I want you to focus on in addition to keeping that foot flexed is keeping your body stacked. Shoulder, shoulder. Try not to roll forward, keeping that hip lifted. Press. Oh yeah, are you feeling that in the outside of this leg here? Rest. New set of moves. Come on up. Get a sip of water as needed during these quick breaks. Plyo lunge. Low impact option. Reverse lunges right here. Making sure knees are in alignment. Otherwise, plyo jump. Looking, knees are staying in alignment with the toes, yeah? Come on, you got it. Stay with me. Chest is up tall, core is engaged. Rest. Mountain climbers, standing option right here. Reach and pull. Otherwise, come down on the floor. On your knees or toes, either tapping or running. Driving those knees up towards the center of your mat. Chest is open. Like you're pulling apart the mat in these directions. Yeah? Pull apart the mat to open up your chest. Breathe. Are you breathless? If you can't say yes, you're going good. We want to be breathless. C sit boat row. Option in the chair or on the floor. Row, row, row. We're making a figure eight with our hands. Heels are dug into the ground, looking up at an angle, or feet are floated. <sighs> 
Now, if you're in the chair, I don't want you to be lazing on the back of the chair. I want you to engage your core, leaving space so you're sitting at the front of your chair, yeah? All right, from the top, plyo lunges. Remember your options. We never have to jump. We can be right here in our step back lunge or jump in. If you're jumping, I want you to be mindful. Don't let this knee come in. Look at yourself in the mirror. Drive it down in alignment with your foot. You got it. Four seconds left. Rest. Even though that wasn't our hip move, there was some high intensity there. Mountain climbers, standing or on the floor, you got this. If you're on your knees, you're driving one knee at a time. Or toes, tapping or running. Pressing your arms to open, to open up that chest. Like you're trying to pull your hands towards the outside of your mat, yeah? Rest. C-sit, boat row. Remember your option. If you're on the chair, you're sitting on the front of the chair, leaning back towards the back, core engaged all the way around. Neutral spine looking up. Row, row, heels on the floor or float those heels. Making a figure eight with your arms. Exhale as you rotate. Follow your gaze with your hands. For a little bit more rotation, rest. Nice job. New set of material. Are you ready? Okay. If you're using your chair, sumo squat. Everyone sumo squat. Ankle tap. Sumo squat, ankle tap. Again, chest is lifted. Your feet are out wide for this. You can bring up the intensity by picking up the pace. Or, if you're not jumping, getting a little lower will increase the intensity. Rest. Catch your breath. Bounding leaps. Shuffle back, check your area, make sure it's clear. Option one, stepping. Big steps, as wide as you can make it. Shuffle back. Again, being mindful not to trip on your mat. She means you gotta lift up your feet. Shuffle back. So, if you don't have a lot of space, you can leap side to side stationary, and then shuffle in place. You can make this workout work. Shuffle back. I've done it in a hotel room between the beds. All right, bear crawls. If you're using your chair, hands on the front of the chair, bend your knees, lifting arm and leg, arm and leg. Otherwise, come down to the floor. Stacking those shoulders, tucking those toes under, lift, walking, forward, and back. Again, the option to walk is only if you feel good in the bear crawl. The closer your knees are to the floor here, the more core engagement. Rest from the top. Sumo squat, ankle tap. Feet out wide. Remember I said get down low. Tap, use your chair if you need it. We want to advance and challenge ourselves. And if getting lower means you need to have a chair, go for it. Nice and tall. Remember, you can always increase the intensity by adding the hop. All right, bounding leaps. Your option one was stepping, option two was jumping. Shuffle back. Again, you can do this in place, or you can use your room. Big leaps. 
leap, leap, shuffle back. Your number of leaps might also depend on the size of your room. Shuffle back. 10 seconds left. How are we doing? Last one, right here. Shuffle back. Whew. Bear crawls. Remember your chair option. Hands on the seat back, keeping your elbows soft, lifting opposite arm and leg. That's a coordination piece in here. Lifting off, keeping your knees as close as possible. Lift and lower or walk it forward and back. Looking down in front of your hands as you move, yeah? You're doing a great job. Guess what? We only have one more set left. Last set, new moves. Are you getting a good workout? I know I am. Whew. Curtsy, side lunge, using your chair as needed. Curtsy, tap if you need, side lunge. Okay? Pushing back into that glute. Tap or float the leg for an extra challenge. We're gonna do side two on the second set. So we're staying on this side. Are you feeling that in your butt? Oh yeah. All right, plank to catch or squat. If you're on the chair, plank, step into your squat right here. Otherwise, join me on the floor, plank, stepping into catch or squat. Keep your butt down low. You wanna take it up a notch, hop it, full length, extension, hop. Give me a smile. Come on. You got this. Smile. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Whew. That's a good stretch for the hip flexors. Okay. Prone reciprocating saw. If you're not getting down the floor, lean back slightly, engaging your back. Reach your arms, alternating one arm, other arm. Move them, alternating. Otherwise, come down to the floor. Same movement. Hands are in a goal post beside you. Lift, keeping your toes grounded. Reach, reach. Looking down right in front of you. Option, lift your legs if you want a little bit more. Rest. Stretch it out if you need quick stretch. One more set of those movements. Curtsy, side lunge. Remember, we're going to the other side. Curtsy, tap if you need, side lunge. Remember your movements. Focus on that glute, on this curtsy, pushing and shifting back. Side lunge, good stretch here. Still pushing back into the glute. If you're not feeling the side lunge on your glute, I want you to shift. Look at how your knee is positioned behind your toe. Last one. Plank to catch or squat on the floor or on your chair. Remember your options. Stepping forward, squat, or on the floor. Because of the movement here, I didn't give you a kneeling option because we're constantly moving. Getting down low. You do have the option to jump though. Full extension in your plank. Yes. <sighs> Nicely done. Prone. Reciprocating saw. Reach. Reach. Moving the arms. Alternating. Leaning back slightly to engage if you're not on the floor. Toes are either anchored or floating after you've engaged your arms. Lift. Looking down at your mat. Squeezing your back and shoulder blades, yes? Again, you can have your toes in the ground. And rest. Push back into challenge. 
child's pose. Guess what? It's time to cool down. Great job. Get a sip of water. Our first movement is child's pose. If you're not on the ground, you're going to reach forward in a forward fold in the chair, reaching down toward your shins or your toes. And we're gonna do a shoulder stretch. You're gonna lay your arm on your lap. Everyone that's on the ground is pushing their glutes onto their heels, reach, reach, reach your arms forward, stretching, opposing push-pull, pushing back onto your heels, pulling your arms forward, feeling that good stretch from your pinky all the way down to your side, your hip bone. All right, shoulder stretch. Arm across your lap, other arm reaching forward. Deep breath. Other side. Hold that arm across. We're slowly lowering our heart rate, sending the blood from the muscles back to our heart. Deep, full breaths as we go through our closing cool down. From this position, if you're in the chair, I want you to come back to the back of the chair. We're gonna step forward into a runner's lunge on your knee or on your toe, rotate and reach. Notice my hand is stacked shoulder, shoulder, hand. Stay there. If you're in the chair, same thing, you're re reaching forward, rotating to the outside. Moving into a hip flexor stretch. If you're on the floor, drop your back knee. Otherwise, if you're standing, sink into the hip flexor stretch right here. Yeah? So we're coming up, reach our arms up, sink forward, get that good stretch, shoulders away from the ear. Let's do that on the other side. Everyone switching sides. Runner's lunge. In behind the chair, on your knee, on your toe, reach, rotate, sink down a little further. Stacking hand, shoulder, shoulder, hand. Dropping down to your knee if you're on the floor. Sinking into that hip flexor stretch. Feel it right here in the front of the leg. Doesn't that feel great? Again, if you're standing, it looks like this. You guys did a great job today. Going into a plank to down dog. Those of you who are in the chair, you know what the plank looks like pushing back into the down dog right here. You can either plank on your knees or your toes, press back in your heels, exhale, again, Stacking your shoulders over your hands. <sighs> nice job. Let's step it in. Roll it up. Big shoulder roll. One more time. Big inhale. Feet are sh shoulder width apart. <sighs> Exhale. Open up your chest. <sighs> Feel that good stretch from your elbows across your chest. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Rotate and twist. Y'all, I hope you feel amazing. Just like my shirt says, this is my happy hour, my happy time. You get those great endorphins from working out. You get a boost of energy. I'll make you feel amazing. Squat to figure four stretch alternating legs. So you can use your chair for this. Feet are parallel. Sit back in your squat. Cross your leg. Sink into that four stretch. And if you don't need your chair, you don't have to use it. Now if your flexibility isn't cooperating, we do have a seated option here. Either at the ankle, leaning forward, or come on up here, 
crossing, making sure that you don't have pressure on that ankle. Keep alternating, squat and figure four. I love this stretch, lengthening out that IT band. All right, overhead side stretch. Feet again are parallel. Reach that arm up and over. Feel that good stretch from your pinky all the way down your side body to your hip bone. Other side. Reach. Thank you so much for joining me today for Athlete Strength. I hope you enjoyed your workout and feel amazing. If you haven't drank all of your water, finish your water as part of your recovery with your post-workout snack. Don't forget to tag me in your sweaty selfie at Kella Price, at Healthy Fitness Life Coach, and at Athlete Strength Program. Follow us on our Facebook and Instagram and check out all of our full length videos on our Smashbot channel, Healthy Fit. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.